Hello all. In this session, we will discuss about branch type instructions in RISC-V. So before that, uh, let's see the instruction format of uh, B type instruction. So the instruction format of uh, B type instruction will look like this. So this is the instruction format of B type. So we have a immediate value of immediate of 12 followed by immediate of 10 down to 5 RS2 RS1 function 3 immediate of 4 down to 1 and immediate of 11. So these all immediate values is uh, sliced in the different positions in the instruction itself. This uh, go this uh, B type instruction theory we have discussed how this B type instruction work. Mm -hmm. So if RS2 value uh, let's say if branch greater than instruction in a branch uh, greater than instruction or branch less than instruction or branch equal to instruction all these instructions are uh, segregated with the help of this opcode. So if the particular opcode is given, then it will be BGT, BGT instruction that is branch greater than instruction. Or if a particular opcode is given, then uh, given then it is a branch less than instruction. Or another particular opcode is given, then it is a branch greater than instruction. Like that, uh, according to the opcode, the type of branch instruction will be decided, right? So if, if so, if in the case of uh, branch greater than instruction BGT, uh, if if say RS2 is greater than RS1, then the immediate value, this is this immediate value is the offset address. Okay, so that uh, immediate value that is the offset address will be added with our program counter PC value. So if this condition is not met, then program counter will be incremented in the normal way that is PC is equal to PC plus 4. Okay, so now let's see the code for this with log code. So in the let's see the top module. So in the case of uh, uh, branch okay so we'll, uh, first let's see in the instruction memory itself so now so in the instruction memory you can uh, observe from here the branch instructions will start so this is branch equals so what happens in branch equals uh, I've written I've encoded the instruction in binary format so this is a binary format for branch equals so this instruction is fetched out and it will be collected in the top module in the top module uh, from the instruction memory this instruction is fetched out and it is given to the control unit so the control unit will decide what type of instruction will is it uh, it is so in the control unit will will go to branch instructions yeah so if the opcode is 1100011 and the function 3 is triple zero then it is a branch equal to instruction okay so if the opcode is 7 uh, double one zero double zero double one and the function 3 is triple zero then it is a branch equal to instruction. So in this case, what happens? The BEQ control signal will be equal to one and all other signals will be equal to zero. Since it is a branch equal to instruction, the BEQ control signal will be equal to zero. So this is the output for this control unit. So this BEQ control signal will be given to our top module. So you can observe this is the BEQ control signal is given to our top module, right? So this signal is given to our top module and from this it is given to our DPU unit, data path unit. So in the data path unit, what happens with this BEQ control signal? So with the help of this BEQ control signal, you can observe here, this is further given to our, yeah. So uh, uh, with the help of this BEQ control signal and we also have one more signal called write data ALU signal, okay? So with the help of this two, we are going to decide whether uh, it is branch equal or uh, whether the contents of the registers are equal or not equal. Okay, so how we are going to decide? So first what we have uh, come to know that it is a branch equal to instruction. Okay, now what we should do our next step is to check whether the contents of the two registers are equal or not. Okay, so for that, what we are going to do is we, we are going to ALU, arithmetic logic unit. So we have come to know that it is a branch equal to instruction, right? And uh, from this control, uh, from this uh, ALU unit, we will, what we will do, we will basically compare the contents of the two registers, source one is equal to source two. If it is equal, then our result will be equal to one. Okay. And if these are not equal, our result will be equal to zero. So if the contents of the register 1 and register 2 are equal, then our result will be equal to 1. And if the contents of the register 1 and register 2 are not equal, then the result will be equal to 0. Okay. So this result will be given out to our data path unit again. So in our DPU unit, what happens? 
our result will be given in the form of write data ALU. So the result is given in the form of write data ALU. Okay. So this result and so if this result is one and if it is a BEQ control that is branch equal to instruction. So if it is a branch equal to instruction and the register contents are same and that is equal the ALU will give you uh, uh, write data ALU signal as one. So what happens so if these two conditions are met then this BEQ signal is equal to one. Okay, you can observe this DPU unit will provide BEQ is equal to one. Okay, else this BEQ equal to zero. Okay, so if the two contents, two registers, uh, the contents in the two registers RS1 and RS2 are equal, then our BEQ signal will be asserted to one. Then what happens? This BEQ signal is again given out from this data path unit to our top module. The BEQ signal you can collect here in the top module. So this BEQ signal is again given to our instruction fetch unit. So it is given to our instruction fetch unit. So in the instruction fetch unit what happens is you can observe uh, basically this instruction fetch unit will monitor the BEQ signal or BNEQ signal or BGE signal or BLT signal. So if any of the signals is equal to one, then the program counter will be incremented by program counter plus immediate address. So if the BEQ signal is high, why the contents are same, right? So that's why the program counter will be incremented by value which is present in the immediate address. So this is the flow, how the data and the instruction flows. So I will draw it diagrammatically for clear visualization. So initially what happens is uh, the instruction will be fetched from the instruction memory. So the instruction will be fetched from the instruction memory. So this instruction is given to our control unit. So this instruction will be given to our control unit. Okay. So with this instruction what control unit is going to do? So control unit is basically use it to decide what type of instruction it is. So uh, depending upon the opcode value and function three value and all that values, mm -hmm. the, uh, the control unit will come to know that it is a branch equal to instruction, right? It is a branch equal to instruction. Now what happens since it is a branch equal to instruction, it will uh, assert a signal called BEQ control, BEQ control signal it will assert the signal to one. So the control unit will make this signal BEQ control to one. So after making this BEQ control signal to one, the, this signal is given to our DPU unit. So this BEQ control signal, BEQ control is given to our data path unit, data path unit. So this BEQ control is given to our data path unit DPU, okay. So what happens again, this BEQ control signal, this BEQ control signal is given to data path unit that is clear, right? So this data path unit consists of ALU also, right? ALU also. So what is the job of this ALU in this particular uh, time? So its job is to check the contents of the two registers RS1 and RS2. So what is the uh, role here? To check the contents of RS1 and RS2. So if RS1, which is equal to RS2, then it will make the result equal to one. Okay. So basically it will check for the RS1 and RS2. So if this RS1 and RS2 are equal, then it will make the output to one. If RS1 is not equal to RS2, then it will make the result to zero. Okay. So the contents are compared. Okay. So if the contents are compared, uh, and if the contents are equal, the result will be equal to one. And this result is ended with BQ control. So if result is one and it's a branch equal to instruction, that is BQ control signal is equal to one, then the output is given to BQ. That is uh, to say our top module that the branch uh, uh, BQ is one, that is uh, the two contents are equal. So we are saying with the help of this BEQ control signal. So this BEQ control signal from the data path unit is given to our top module. Okay. 
So this BEQ signal from our data path unit is given to our top module. Okay. So this top module will give this BEQ signal to our instruction fetch unit. Instruction fetch unit. So this instruction fetch unit will have the logic for. So this instruction fetch unit will have the logic for program counter PC. So in normal conditions, what will happen? This instruction fetch unit, what it will do? It will basically increment this program counter by four, right? And it will uh, fetch the instructions from the IMU unit. But in this case, what happens? So if it finds this BEQ signal is equal to one. So if the instruction unit finds this BEQ is equal to one, then what happens? This program counter will increment the program counter PC is equal to PC plus immediate value which is present in the instruction. So the immediate value which is present in the instruction by which the program counter will be incremented. Okay. So like this. So like this, the program counter is incremented by the value uh, with the uh, which is provided in the instruction itself. That is the immediate value. So this is the flow uh, of this uh, branch equal to instruction. So like this, our data flow occurs and coming to next type of instruction. So if you are having any, uh, if you are not getting this uh, logic, how our BEQ instruction is uh, executing. So once again, please repeat this video and uh, watch this. So it will be a little bit confusing in the starting, but if you uh, watch this again and once try the code you can understand or else uh, comment me in the comment section or you can contact me in telegram now coming to other type of instruction that is bgt that is branch greater than everything is same everything is same one thing that differs is the process in alu arithmetic logic so what happens here is the two registers instead of uh, comparing uh, the content which uh, they are equal or not we will compare whether rs1 is greater than or uh, greater than RS2 or not. Okay, so we'll compare this RS1 and RS2 whether uh, it is greater than RS2 or not. So if it is greater, then our result will be equal to one. If it is less, our result will be equal to zero. So if it is greater, again, what happens? If it is one, uh, then it will be compared like this. So BEQ is equal to result, and instead of BEQ control, we, we will get result and BGT control result and BGT control. Okay, so if these are uh, uh, if these are true, then our output will be equal to one BGT that is given to BGT signal. So this BGT signal is again given to our instruction fetch unit uh, from the BGT is given to top module and from this top module it is given to instruction fetch unit and from this instruction fetch unit if BGT is greater than uh, if BGT is equal to one, our program counter will increment by immediate value, which is provided in the. So this program counter will be incremented by the immediate value, which is provided in the instruction itself. So if this BGT is equal to one, then this program counter will be incremented by the value, which is uh, provided in the immediate value. So this is how the BGT instruction is executed and every other instruction like BLT, a branch less than and yeah other instructions of branch instructions are executed in the same way so in the alu unit you can observe so in the uh, ifu unit you can observe so if it is bq is equal to one uh, the same procedure is repeated or bneq bg blt so for all this branch instructions uh, it will be incremented by the immediate value and and in the alu unit also you can observe so for BLT instruction, we'll compare whether source one is not equal to source two and BGEQ instruction branch greater than or equal to source two is greater than or equal to source one and BLT instruction will compare whether source one is less than source two. So this is how branch instructions are executed. So this is about uh, branch instructions, execution of branch instructions using Verlo. So that's all for this video. Thank you.